My name is Steve Olson, Public Information Officer for the Florida Department of Transportation. I started out in broadcasting, I did 20 years in radio and TV, and then I transitioned over to the public relations field in 1999. And one thing led to another and I ended up at the Florida Department of Transportation as their spokesperson. Transportation touches everything that we do. Our job is to communicate what's going on out here on I-4. When people get out of bed in the morning and they're going to drive this during construction, the first thing they're going to ask is, what's in it for me? And our job in the Public Information Office is to convey the information that they're going to need during their commute while we're under construction here. On this roadway here, you're looking at 1960s infrastructure. And a lot has changed. If you look at downtown Orlando, we're pushing through at that 408 I-4 interchange about 200,000 vehicles per day, right through that pinch point. To meet the needs of today, this roadway has to come up to a different standard and to handle all that traffic. This project is going to change the way we commute here in Central Florida. It's going to give people some choices. It's going to give you that choice that if traffic is jammed up, you can get in that lane, take it for a certain distance, maybe get back out. But it'll, it'll give you at least an idea that, look, I can get from point A to point B in a given amount of time. And you have to look at it as, what is your time worth? What is your quality of life worth? Even though we got these orange vests and we work for the state, I think people sometimes forget that we drive these roads as well. We have a certain expectation to get from point A to point B. We want to see an efficient transportation system and we rely on them just as everybody else does here in Central Florida.